Meanwhile, health officials working with the White House say things are getting better. Nearly 125 million Americans are now fully vaccinated, and officials say that is leading to lower cases nationally. Things are improving, and we are seeing this week after week and with more and more green over time. These data are telling us a story. As more and more people roll up their sleeves and get vaccinated, the number of cases and the level of community risk is decreasing. And as vaccinations continue, counties across our area are taking another look at mask mandates. That includes schools who are now deciding what will happen over the summer and next school year when it comes to these mask requirements. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is in Brevard County tonight where there are some big changes coming. After a four to one vote, a motion passes making masks optional once this school year ends on June 3rd. And with over 50 people at the meeting, board members heard from the public and even students describing their experiences wearing the masks this past year. Do you know how hard it is to learn when you can't hear what your teachers say in your classes? Almost everyone I know has had problems, whether headaches, earaches, or fogged up glasses. A student spoke from the heart about the challenge of wearing a mask in class. One of dozens of people speaking during today's board meeting. I could walk into the government building across the street mask free with zero questions asked. Our school board is lagging behind. Your indecisiveness is doing a disservice to the children in this county. It's time to remove the mask mandate. As educators, I urge you to consider the lessons our children are walking away with. Masks, masks may be an inconvenience, but they protect the people around you and which is more important. Some parents even commenting on graduation last year calling for this year's ceremony to look different. As a parent, when they walk across that stage, if they have a mask on, it's heartbreaking. The motion passes. The board ultimately voted four to one, passing the motion. I think that we, uh, we've we had clear direction from the state. We have we have done everything that we can to try to work out all of the challenges that we're currently facing. Um, and parents need to know what to expect next year. And so our hope is that things are going to be much more um, safe for everyone in the fall. While today's meeting focused on masks, the board did say regarding graduation that since people will be outside and socially distanced, they will be able to remove their masks. In Brevard County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results, News 6.